Hello parents and children, Tracy LaGuardia here from the Children's Equipping Center at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City. And this is video 16 out of 18, where we are reading the book, Children Can You Hear Me? by Brad Jerzyk. And you know, earlier today I was going through my emails. I get a lot of them. And some of them I save and some of them I just delete. Now, the important ones, I save in a folder. These are the ones that I want to go back to, the ones I want to refer to, things that are important for me to know. But I also get a whole lot of emails that are just useless. There's no need to even get them. Some of them are even downright bad. And those emails go straight into the garbage can. That's right, straight into the garbage can, never to be opened up, never to be looked at, never to be read and then thrown away and deleted forever. What? Oh, <laughs> these, yes, these represent my big ears and I tried to make my eyes as big as possible so that I would have eyes to see and ears to hear. But to know why I've done that, we need to get started reading. Children, can you hear me? Of course you can. Just call on me and I will answer you. Some call me God, some Lord. Others call me Jesus. What do you call me? You can call on me by praying. Praying is talk to, talking to me, just like when you talk to your friends. When you talk to me, I hear you and answer you. I come to you and I show myself to you. It's kind of like show and tell. Jeremiah 33, 3. When you call on me, I will answer you, and I will show you great and wonderful things that will surprise you. You won't usually hear me with your ears or see me with your eyes, although I might surprise you. But your heart will see me, your heart will hear me, and your heart will know me. That's because I made you. John 14, 21, Jesus said, My Father loves anyone who loves me. I love you too, and I will show myself to you. Ephesians 1, 18, I pray that the eyes of your heart would be open and bright. Then you will see the free gifts that God has planned to give you. They are rich and glorious, and they belong to you. Your heart can hear my voice. What does it sound like to you? Sometimes my voice is quiet and gentle, like the wind whispering through the trees. Listen carefully. Can you hear it? Sometimes it's loud and strong, like a thunderstorm on a stormy night. Oh, don't be frightened. I am just that big. I speak in many different ways so you can hear me in a way that is just right for you. What does my voice sound like right now? Job 33, 14. God really does speak, sometimes one way, sometimes another, even when you might not be listening. Your heart can see my face. What does it look like to you? What expression do you see? When you look at my face, you will see how much I love you. You will see that I care about how you are doing. You will see that I enjoy your company. Sometimes my face looks happy. Ask me why. One reason is because I think you're terrific and I'm glad that we are friends. Sometimes I look sad. Ask me why. Maybe I'm sad because I know you're sad but we can cheer each other up. Solomon 2, 14. Show me your face, let me hear your voice, because your voice is sweet and your face is full of love. My face is usually cheerful and gentle. It is never nervous or afraid. That's because I'm strong and confident. My face isn't mean or scary, at least not to you. But if evil comes to hurt you, then I get angry. 
Oh, don't be afraid. Just ask me to take care of it. After all, love takes care of people, doesn't it? Hebrews 12, 2. Keep looking at Jesus with the eyes of your heart. He opened them up to begin with. And he'll help you to see him perfectly one day. When you pray, you aren't just talking to me. We're talking to each other. We're hanging out, just like when you hang out with your friends. I love hanging out with you. Come close and talk to me. I'm the best listener ever. Tell me about your day. What made you happy? What made you sad? How about a hug? John 15, 15. Jesus said, instead of being my servant, I'd like you to be my friend. Servants don't get to hear secrets, but friends do. So I'll call you my friend because I tell you everything my father has told me. We can hang out anywhere because I'm always with you. You can meet me in your favorite places. Want to meet me in your bedroom? I'm there. Can you see me? Remember to use your hard eyes. What am I doing? What am I saying? I'll stay there with you and keep you company. Do you have a favorite hiding place? I'll meet you there too. We can sit together and just be quiet. Or we can make secret plans for the day. Psalms 139, 5 through 6. God, you are always ahead of me, leading the way. But you're also behind me, following along. You're always close enough to hold my hand. That's amazing. I can hardly believe it. When you go out, I go with you. I'm always tagging along. Do you go to the park? You'll find me there. How about school? I'm there too. Church? Yes, even there. I have a place I love to go. Would you like to come? Close your eyes. Psalms 139.10 Wherever I go, I always find you. And when I run away, you always find me. If I went as high as heaven, you'd be there. If I looked deep in the earth, you'd be there too. What if I could fly to a place where the sun comes up? What if I could swim to the bottom of the ocean? Yes, your hand would still be holding me safe and showing me the way. Meet me in your imagination. Your imagination is a place where your heart co can create almost anything. I gave you your imagination. Do you like it? You can use your imagination to think about good things or bad things, but I gave it to you so that we could meet together there. If you could build any place in your imagination, what would it look, lo look like? <laughs> wow, I like it. I'll meet you there. Ephesians 3.20, God can even do more than you ask or imagine because his power that cannot be measured is working inside of you. One of my favorite places is your heart. Can you believe that? Your heart is where I live and I've made it my special home. Close your eyes. What does your heart place look like? Either see a cozy cabin or a fancy playhouse. What do you see? Can you see me there? What am I doing? What am I saying? What shall we do? What shall we play? God is my fortress. This is Psalms 94, 22. God is my fortress. I hide in him to keep safe. Another favorite place of mine is my throne room. See my throne? What does it look like? Do you see me sitting there? What am I wearing? Look, 
I have such a big lap. Come on up and sit for a while. The world sure does look interesting from here. Wow, look at all those people. And how about those angels? Lean your ear against my chest. Can you hear my heart beating? It's beating with love for you. Revelations 4, 2. When I prayed, I saw a throne in heaven and someone was sitting on it. Do you remember my cross? You can meet me there too. Do you see me? My cross is a good place to leave your burdens. And a burden is anything that makes you feel bad. Would you like to leave it here with me? I'll take all of your burdens if you like. They're much easier for me to carry. It's no problem at all. Can I have them? 1 Peter 5, 7. Let God carry everything and everyone that you care about because he cares about you. We can also meet in a big grassy field or beside a gurgling creek. I am a good shepherd and you are one of my lambs. You can rest there together or we can play. What do you want to do? Do you want to lie in the grass and look up at the clouds? Should we chase each other around the field? Maybe we can splash around in the stream. It's your choice. Isaiah 40, 11. God takes care of us like a shepherd. He gathers each lamb in his arms and carries them close to his heart. How about meeting me in a garden? I love gardens. That's where life began. What kind of plants do you see? Look at the sun shining through the leaves. What color are the flowers? And how do they smell? How about the fruit? Go ahead, pick one. What does it taste like? Can you find me among the trees? Come on, let's play hide and seek together. It's one of my favorite games. If you seek me, you'll soon find me. I'll make sure of that. I promise. Jeremiah 31, 13. God's children will be like a freshly rained garden. They won't be unhappy ever again. The girls will dance and be glad and the boys will join in too. Even the old people will take a turn. I will turn their tears into laughter. We can also meet in just about any Bible story. Which one is your favorite? Daniel in the lion's den? Jonah in the well? David and Goliath? How about when I was walking on the water? Can you see the story in your heart? Try stepping into the story. Can you find me there? What am I doing? What am I saying? Where are you in the story? Are you one of the characters? Come close and talk to me. We'll li live the story together. Psalms 119.11 I keep your word in the hiding place of my heart. I can meet you in your memories. What's your best memory? Can you see it with your heart? I was there. Can you find me? What am I doing? What am I saying? What's your worst memory? How did you feel? I was there too. Can you find me? What am I doing? What am I saying? You can run to me. Tell me the whole story. Ask me to help. I'll take those burdens too. Deuteronomy 31, eight. God always walks in front of you and goes wherever you go. He will never leave you or stop being your friend. With him around, fear and sadness soon leave. I can also meet you in your dreams. 
Do you remember any of your dreams? You can step back into your dreams even when you're awake. If you pick one, you can find me there. Have a look around. What am I doing? Watch and listen. You may be surprised. Genesis 28, 12 through 13. I had a dream about a stairway from earth all the way to heaven, and the angels were climbing up and down, and God was standing at the top. I have good news for you. I can even meet you in your nightmares. If you wake up at night from a scary dream, just call me and I will answer you. You won't be afraid of the dark if you remember it's just a shadow. Do you remember any of your nightmares? What are they about? Try to find me there. I'll help you if you like. Watch what I do. I love to rescue people. Psalms 91, 1 and 5. If you live in God's shelter, you'll be able to rest quietly in his shadow. You won't have to be fearful or scary nighttime things. Here's another picture. Look what's going on. Huh. He's in the pool. Is he having fun? Jesus is reaching for him. Huh. Let's read. Whenever you see me, that's called faith. Faith is seeing what I show you. Faith is hearing what I say to your heart. Faith is believing whatever I show or tell you even before it happens, because I always tell you the truth. Faith helps you hear and see me better and better. Is it getting easier for you to hear and see me now? Hebrews 11, 1. Faith is seeing what you hope for in with your heart and knowing it's going to happen. Look at this picture. Hmm. Looks like a lineup of similar looking people, but not quite. And oh, look, she's picking out Jesus. That's right. She can pick him out. Which one is he? Is he this one? Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> yes, it's him. When we meet, how can you know it's really me? Oh, that's easy. If you hear and see things that make you hate others or yourself, that is not me. If you hear and see things that make you want to hide from me, you guessed it, not me. There's no one quite like me. 1 Thessalonians 5, 19 through 22. Keep listening to God. Don't think that what you're hearing is silly, but listen carefully and only hang on to the good stuff. Put it in that important file. And then you can just throw the rest away. So can you figure out why I have the big ears and I have the big eyes? That's because I want to always be able to recognize Jesus. And we will be able to recognize him as long as we know the word of God and know who he is. And the more we spend time with Jesus, the more we'll know exactly who he is. Now, parents, you have a couple of activities you can do today, and they are in the resources that we have attached to this video. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.